Thanks for being with us here on News 12 The Bronx. Some local and young journalists are now putting the spotlight on NYCHA. Yeah, this after their newly launched student newspaper found a misuse of Bronx building lighting is wasting tax dollars and hurting the environment. And News 12's Anthony Carlo has their story hot off the presses <laughs> and more on the students' mission to keep journalism alive. It's these LED floodlights at the Melrose, Patterson and Jackson houses that gave this group of junior journalists a bright idea. We realized that the lights were on during the daytime. The high school students documented their findings, part of a two month investigation. We would come here almost every time we had class and observe to see how long the lights were on for. Publishing the results in the Bronx Documentary Center's new student-run paper, BDC Focus. Their piece alleging NYCHA violated its own policies by leaving on more than 200 high wattage lights during the day, hurting the environment. It is a lot of people living there and those people are being affected by NYCHA's decisions, so it's important for NYCHA to make good decisions. Kara Star Tyner, a 15-year-old Truman High School student who contributed, says shedding light on issues like this proves just how important investigative journalism is today. It allows for a change to happen. The students reported, by their calculations, NYCHA is wasting 82,804 tax dollars per year at current Con Ed rates. I wanted them to actually like, you know, research it, look for organizations that deal with like envir the environmental issues. And also, we actually also reached out to NYCHA as well. The students also reported NYCHA is working to resolve an issue causing some of these lights to excessively burn. For the students, they say their burning passion for journalism is what the world needs more of. I would want to bring that back, and I think we already are. This as they plan to release the second edition of BDC Focus, their free bilingual paper, in June. In Melrose, Anthony Carlo, News 12. And the work that they're doing is already leading to change. We reached out to NYCHA for further comment. They tell us that, quote, development staff are working to resolve an issue that causes some of the lights to be on during both the night and day at Melrose and Patterson houses. And the lighting at Jackson houses are not on 24 hours a day, and those function as designed. They go on to say that they're working continuously toward achieving their sustainability goals and policies in all areas.